If you use any of the Google services, it's likely that you have quite a bit of data tied to your Google account. In the event of your untimely passing, Google has a tool called the Inactive Account Manager, which will delete your account if you've been inactive for a certain period of time. You can also choose who gets notified of your inactive status and which of your trusted contacts gets access to your account data after you've stopped using your account. Let's dive right in. First, I'll show you the steps to delete your account and share your data, which can be done on any web browser. If you own an Android phone or tablet, I'll show you the steps for Android later on. In your browser, after you've logged into your Google account, select your profile picture in the upper right, then click on Google account. Next, here in the middle of the page, select personal info and privacy. Now scroll down the page and find inactive account manager. It's all the way near the bottom. Select change this setting. You should be at this screen where it says, make a plan for your Google account if you pass away or stop using Google. To begin the process to auto-delete your Google account, click on Start. This first step is very important. You need to choose the length of time that Google should wait to consider your account inactive. You can set this to three months all the way up to 18 months. I'll just leave this one at three months and hit save. You will be contacted one month before the time is up. If you don't respond within the month, your account will be terminated. If it's not already listed, you will need to add a phone number, an email address, and a recovery email. These will be the methods that Google uses to contact you prior to deleting your account. When you're done with this page, click on Next. On this screen, you can choose up to 10 people that will be notified when your Google account is considered inactive. Select Add Person. Enter their email address. I'll use a fake one here. Click Next. Here you can choose the data you would like to share with this person. This is optional, and they will have three months after your account is inactive to download your data. You can select all, select none, or select each of these individually. I don't want to share much with this person, so I'll just select Google Photos. Click Next. On this screen, you can add their phone number to help verify their identity before they download your data. You also have the option to select the box next to add a personal message, and they'll get a message from you when they're notified of your inactivity. When done, click on Save. You can set an auto-reply for anyone that tries to contact you after your account has become inactive. This is optional. Click Set Auto Reply. You can put anything here that you want. For the subject, I'll just type, I'm dead. And for the message, I'll keep it simple. I no longer have access to email. You also have the choice to only send a response to those people in your contacts by selecting the box. When done, click Save. That's it for this page. Click on Next. If you're absolutely positive that you would like your Google account to automatically delete after it becomes inactive, toggle the slider to turn it on. When your account becomes inactive, this will delete it, along with all of its data, including content on other Google-owned sites, including YouTube, AdSense, Google+, and many others. If you've added people earlier to share your data with, they will have three months to download your content. Select Review Plan. After reviewing your summary, to make it permanent, you will need to click on Confirm Plan. And that's all there is to it. If you use an Android phone or tablet, you can get to the Inactive Account Manager by going to Settings. Depending on your version of Android, the following steps may vary. Find Google in the list. Tap on it. Near the top, select Info, Security, and Personalization. Also near the top, to the right of Personal Info, select Data and Personalization. Scroll down and find, make a plan for your account. It's way down there. Tap on it. From here, the steps are the same as what I showed you earlier using your web browser. Hopefully nothing terrible ever happens to you where this feature gets activated. 
Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you learned something new. If you have anything to add to this topic, let us know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button and bell notification icon so you don't miss out on the latest and greatest tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.